Hello from the Flanagan Homestead. Welcome to my barber chair video. I'm going to show you a bunch of clips of different barber chair incidents. Uh, the reason I want to do this, I recently had a barber chair, a tree that I knew was going to barber chair from experience, but because of my escape route, I wasn't too worried about it. But then I figured I wasn't being a good example. And I remember when I started cutting trees years ago, I didn't know about uh, the potential hazards of barber chair. And so I'm putting this out there, so I will put in layman's term for us uh, homesteaders and farmers and loggers, uh, backyard loggers, uh, a couple things to help keep you safe uh, from barber chair. So we're going to take a look at uh, some of the other barber chair videos that I've collected. These are not me cutting, but uh, other people that were cutting and caught on video. This one is a very large tree, which would be quite scary to have this barber cherry. Uh, you can see he had plenty of escape route, clear escape route. I don't know if he cleared it all himself. Here's another huge fur going down. You don't see it as often in fur as you do in alder, but it does happen. This can be quite scary. Saw's all right. Okay. Jump. In many of these videos, including this one, there seems to be little to no effort to make a pie cut or a face cut. This is a problem. In this video, it appears that there is no effort to make a face cut on the fall side of the tree. And uh, it's really impressive how far up the tree this one splits. That's quite a drop. Again, there appears to be no effort to make a pie cut or a face cut on the front of the tree. This is a common theme in barber chairing. First of all, barber chairing can happen to any tree, but I'm standing on my property in a stand of alders, which is the most notorious trees here in the Pacific Northwest to barber chair. You need to be very careful with them. There's a couple different factors that uh, cause that. One, they do tend to lean a lot if you're on a hillside, which creates the extra pressure. And two, it's just the way their fibers are, they tend to barber chair. So you can see what a typical stand here in Washington State looks like. The leaves are down, we're in late winter, and uh, there's a lot of alders standing right here. They grow in pretty thick. A lot of people just call them a really tall weed around here, because if you log and don't replant, the alder's going to take over. Although they do make for really good firewood, and people are using them in cabinets as well now. Part of my motivation for doing this video is to help keep other people safe, including my four sons who are now young adults and they uh, are interested in help going out and clearing out the trees that we need to, to open up space and using it for firewood. And uh, they um, are not familiar with what barber chairing is really and uh, how to protect from it. So this is for my sons as well as everybody out there. When I first bought this property about 30 years ago, I hadn't been in a lot, done a lot of falling of trees and uh, you could touch an alder hand to hand almost over my entire property there in here so thick. So I was just laying them down really fast, building, uh, clearing my home site and a little bit of a view. And I experienced a lot of barber chairing and that was because I didn't have experience and I didn't know what was going on. And uh, so as I learned more, I don't want uh, to see other people doing the same thing. There's a couple things that you can do to help keep yourself safe uh, from a barber chair. Number one, learn how to cut the tree uh, properly and better so that it's less likely to barber chair. And two, make sure that you can keep yourself clear. Uh, as I mentioned, when I first started clearing my property, I was pretty ignorant of the factors that could play into this. And because I, my property is so sloped, the alders tend to lean downhill on that. And so, I was thinking I didn't need much of a pie cut because I thought the pie cut was to help direct the tree, which it is, but it also helps take out uh, some of the front of the tree so that when you make the back cut, there's not as many fibers and it can just fold over quickly. Uh, so when I came up to alders with a lean like this, well, all I gotta do is put my uh, chainsaw right into the back side of this and it's gonna fall. And yes, it is, and it is gonna fall that direction, but you're not releasing uh, the pressure on the front or the strength on the front so it would want to fall out. So uh, you need to know that uh, just because a tree is leaning, yeah, you know which way it's pretty much which way it's going to fall, but you still need to put that pie cut in there. 
Typically the pie cut or the face cut uh, needs to be about a third of the way through. And again, sometimes people are hesitant to do that on a leaning tree because if you start to cut in the downs, the face that's downhill, if the tree leans a little bit, it wants to pinch your saw in there so it makes it a little bit harder. But you, you still need to get that face cut or that pie cut on the front. Also, you need to you want to have it open about 70 degrees or more so that it has a chance to uh, collapse on itself before it binds up again and creates more pressure. If an alder is in a thick stand like this and you cut down this alder that's leaning here that is potentially going to barber chair, if it gets caught up in these other trees up here, uh, it's going to want to kick the trunk to either side or even push it back. And so that makes it a little bit more hazardous. So you need to be aware, is the tree going to be able to freely fall or is it going to potentially get caught up in other trees and create leverage? If you look over here, this alder that's leaning significantly right here, I plan to take that out here soon, but it's got this maple that I want to leave standing right here. So this tree is potentially going to uh, get caught up in this tree and create some pressure to kick back uh, towards me. So that's uh, something I need to be aware of. Uh, obviously, if you make uh, the proper cuts, the barber chair is a lot less likely to happen, but they can still happen, especially with these alders. There's a lot of other variables that can help make it safer when cutting these alders down, especially these that have this lean on the hillside. Number one, uh, the tendency is when working on the hillside to be in a hurry. You don't want to, it's hard to get good positioning and uh, just make a cut. But you need to be able to make sure that you have good footing up on the hillside. Today is a really wet day and uh, there's a lot of sloppy mud. You want to make sure that there's decent traction. And number two, this is very typical of around here. Now it's late winter, so all the leaves and stuff are off, but you can see the uh, briars and brush and blackberry vines are all around here. And you need to clear a good escape route. So instead of just getting in a hurry and putting the, chain, the chainsaw into the tree and falling it, I need to make sure that I have enough space around here cleared out so that when the tree starts to fall, I can take several steps that direction or this direction and I can get out of the way. Another thing that may seem obvious, but it's clearly not obvious to everyone, is don't put parts of your body in the way where the tree may barber chair and kick back or put your face in the way. I was watching The Axeman, which is a really prop popular uh, uh, show here in the Pacific Northwest on logging, and they were talking about a guy that went, a rookie that went to go cut alders, and they found him, his face was basically ripped off, and they didn't know if he was alive or not, but he had been cutting, and on a tree with a lean like this, it's going to kick back this way, and, and instead of keeping your body back out of the way his face was his head was over it and when it barber chaired it came up it took his jaw ripped basically ripped his jaw off and, and a lot of his face and uh, he survived but uh, it was a real bad accident so if you have potential for barber chair there's a variable here don't get yourself in front of where it's going to kick up and catch you when you're making your cut, you need to get your, keep yourself back, keep your chainsaw in, and keep your face and your body away with your escape, uh, safe escape route. Last variable that makes things safer that I want to talk about is have a sharp chain. I've had some other trees that I had a good uh, face cut on it and cutting in the back side, and you could see that the far fiber's starting to split, but on these small alders like this, I had a sharp chain, and I was cutting through it really quick, so I just kept going. And because I had a sharp chain, I was able to take out all that fiber that was going to hold on and create a barber chair, but I was able to get through it quicker. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, logging can be dangerous. Even with proper cuts, trees can barber chair. Alder is notorious for it happening. Control as many variables as you can to keep it safe and stay safe and enjoy working outdoors. Thanks for joining me on the Flanagan Homestead, where Christmas trees are my business, teaching and cleaning horticulture is my job, and outdoor projects, like developing my property, are my passion. Hope to see you again soon, everyone. Be blessed and stay safe.